In this video, I'm going to show you how to prove or disprove Big O. So we're going to start off with this problem, which is prove that 2n plus 3 is all of n. It's very important to understand what they want you to do. So here we have a graph. The x-axis is the input size, and the y-axis is basically the time. And here we have our function 2n plus 3. And when they want you to prove that it is all of n, we just want to show that there is a function c times n, where c is just a number that grows faster than our red line. So all we have to do, again, is to find one function, c times n, that grows faster than this line. And of course, you're going to intersect here, and this point is called n naught. So you might be wondering, can we just pick c to be 3? Because a slope of 3 will grow faster than a slope of 2. And the answer is absolutely yes. But there is a standard way to find c. And I'm going to show you how to do it. We know that 2n plus 3 is less than 2n plus 3n. And that's because the 3 is less than 3n. Now we have 2n plus 3 is less than 5n. So our 5 is basically our constant c. Now, what is n naught going to be? We can try to substitute n naught is equal to 1. We always start at 1, and let's see. So we put 1 into the inequality. We have 2 times 1 plus 3, which is less than 5 times 1. So 5 is less than 5. This is correct. So our n naught is going to be 1. If you plug in the 1 and this inequality is not true, you can just increase n naught to 2 and try it again until you find one that works. And that's basically it. We're just going to say, therefore, 2n plus 3 is all of n, since 2n plus 3 is less than or equal to 5 times n, so we found our c for n is greater or equal to 1. 